trying to, amen, get, get rid of your faith. If you know, it get rid of the, the evil that's in the country. The thing that you're thinking about, amen, the thing that down, rooted down, deep in it. And that's why, amen, I believe that's why the Lord says, amen, yo, amen. In the day of judgment, amen, you go ahead and give the power of every hour of work. Everything you've done, you've counted. So you're counted like a computer. You know, that's why you got to make sure you do it right, because all that stuff is still resting down in your conscience. Amen. So all the, when you get to heaven, or when you get to hell with judgment, you know, I imagine all you got to do is you like to just take your computer and look at it, you want to just check your conscience. And all that, all that stuff you've been doing is out in your car. Well, you ain't got good of him. But now, if you ain't man, the thing we got to do is get that car just clean. Oh, uh, get it sanctified. Amen. We get that, praise God. Praise the Lord. And you want to make sure, amen, don't you, you love the Lord? Let's go to verse 9. Chapter 9, praise God. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God, purge in your conscience from dead works to serve a living God? How much more shall the blood of Jesus, see that, that, that blood, got to clean that conscience. Amen. Amen. So I, I remember what I've done. And as a man, I remember 60 years of marriage. You know, everything helped. <laughs> I ain't forgot. Amen. All that stuff, you remember that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's down in your country. Uh -huh. And I, I was amazed, I think, sometimes when I was ready to go out, I remember some of the things my wife would always do. Uh -huh. It was always think of this is what she would do. I cut the light off. I turn the light on. Right, yeah. Amen. Why? Because you can't get rid of those things that down there in your future. But the amen, they've been Christ done purified. Yeah. Amen. This is the way he said again. How much more shall the blood of Christ? Who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, heard in your conscience yes. from dead work to serve a living God. Okay. So no matter what you've done, amen. Are you listening? Okay. Amen. Now he's still there. Yeah. Lord that has saved you is still there, not bothering you in the sense that making you want to go out. Mm -hmm. And you you remember when you were lost. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But you're not lost for nothing. Yeah. You remember when you were a thug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're not one now. <laughs> you remember when you were a dope addict. But you're not a go bad now. You remember when you were a prostitute. But you're not one well now. Those thousands of men you had to got. If you get if you get married quiet, you don't know what the hell you're trying to sleep with. Or you remember both of them. Oh, yo. <laughs> see, you want to have anything to see with that? But I mean, you probably because you eat. <laughs> why? Because that's in your mind. What you have done, the feeling you have. Had you can't forget it. Right? No matter how you look at it, you cannot forget the thing that you're going to do. Amen. 
And they become just as real today as it was yesterday. As far as your conscience is concerned. But the thing is that, Lord, amen, you, you get that conscience purged, get it clean. Uh huh? Then you had to say, well, amen, hey, 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 you know you're not going back to that stuff. Because you've been saved and you've been sanctified and you've been filled with the Holy Ghost. And so you're not going back to the thing that you've done. You see what I mean? But not that, amen, praise God. That's why you got to get to have faith. And this is why I'm going to make faith so important. See, when you believe God, and as you believe, it's the faith come by heaven, and heaven will come by the word of God. Yeah. See? What faith is in your conscience? Huh? And every time you say faith, it's still there. See? It's still in the conscience. Just like anything else. It's not your faith, man. You get whatever you put in there, it's going to stay there. It ain't going nowhere, praise God. And that's why, amen, he says, hold faith, amen, in a clean, good conscience, because if you get faith in your conscience, your conscience will always bring it back to your mind, and your mind will bring it back to your heart. And God's still the same. He's still real. He's still a member worker. He's still a mighty God. Amen. But that man will pray to God, and just like you can think about all of those stuff, you're walking all the way and all the way, you think about how good the Lord is. You're aiming at your mind, go up and see the good thing the Lord has done, but you had not left the car. And every while you say, God, you got it as a hallelujah, you thank you, man. Because you can't think about what God brought you from. How good the Lord has been to you. And all the time, the only reason why you will forget it is that you had to lose conscience. You ain't did that know. He said, when people say, man, lose their mind, that's when you lose conscience. Because as long as you got clean conscience, you're going to remember. You see what I'm saying? Amen. I want to tell you that today, man. Praise God. The book of Amen. And all the way back to the book of Rome. And we'll get the amen. Think about it. Because you see, it was the amen. You got you, amen. And conjure plays a big role. And that's why it's so good, amen, to ask of a good conscience. Amen. It's very nice. Amen. Chapter 9. Amen. Book of Romans. Praise God. And this is why it's important, and we may not realize it. So now, never, maybe you never thought about that, praise God. Simply to say. And Paul said in chapter 9, he said, I said, the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bears me witness in the Holy Ghost. Now he said, Paul, hey, Paul said, my conscience bears me witness in the Holy Ghost. That's why Paul, I mean, he said, the Holy Ghost would do what? Bring all things back to your mind. Here yeah, Paul says, my conscience bears me witness in the what? Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. He said, bring all things like I'm thinking that was right on. If it ain't nothing in your mind, it ain't nothing thing. Right? right. Yeah. You see, all you all you can all the Holy Ghost all bring and stuff back already in there. You ain't put nothing in there, ain't nothing to bring back. You got the word in your mind, praise God, in your conscience, amen. And you've been talking, amen. You've been thinking, you don't really put it there. You just talk and do it. Amen. And it just stay there. And when the Holy Ghost comes, it brings it back to your remembrance. What's in your heart, in your mind. Glory to God. He said, now conscience bad me witness, amen. Bad me witness. Glory to God. In the Holy Ghost. Yeah, the Holy Ghost is going to play a role in this thing. Oh, yeah. That's why it's important in the cause of Timothy, hold fast faith. Yeah, a good time. Because that's what you're going to need. You need, you need to remember. Now, the children of Israel could not go on because they forgot. Uh -huh. huh? The only reason why they forgot is because they didn't stop working. 
They had sinned, they man, and they forgot what God had done for them. And they couldn't go no further because they could not believe God because they forgot what the Lord had done. And God had to God brought them from them. God gave them in Egypt. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That kind of bad, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. Because they couldn't believe. Yeah. Amen. So your heart, amen, with the heart, man, believe what you're right. Uh, with the mouth, confession made the salvation. Yeah. You believe this thing deep down in your heart. I mean, down in your heart. Yeah. Amen. Get out of your heart. Now, this is what we like to thank you. Amen. Get the word down in our heart, don't we? Yeah. David said, that what I would have, I hid in my heart. And I might not say that you praise God. And heart even hold that good stuff. Yeah. Amen. Heart hold that good stuff. Yeah. Amen. In the mind, I mean, it just thinks what's in the God. But if you're not saved, amen, that conscience is pushed to the mind. You're not want to go out and kill somebody. You get a thing about that dirty thing they get done to you? How that mean thing they done? How somebody really mistreated you? You may want to go out and shoot. If you're not saved, then you say amen again. Amen, because everything that's in the conjunct, amen, sooner or later, somewhere along the line, coming back to the mind. Yeah. Okay, I'm saying you are. Paul kept telling the folks, amen, what I've done, I will.